everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype, and it is episode uh, 13, I think, and I just emptied out my stuff, and we're getting back into the mineshaft. So I think I left off um, being nosy. <laughs> um, no, I uh, was t talking about my previous jobs, and how I really enjoyed one particular one, which was the YES program, which dealt with uh, legally blind or totally blind youth, um, where they had to live away from their parents um, for about two months during the summertime, and they were given actual jobs, like some worked at uh, Safeway or a grocery store, if you don't know what that is. Um, or there's something called the Seattle Science Center up here in Washington, which I myself went through this program when I was a teenager. And um, I found that um, I was looking forward to actually working there as an adult. And when I did get the chance and I worked there two summers in a row, um, no, there was just an abundance of jobs in different types of areas, like some were worked at cafes, some worked at a library, some worked at clothing stores, um, just a variety of things. And basically we're teaching the youth to be independent from their parents because sadly most disabled children are coddled and <laughs> a bunch of other stuff that makes them feel like they need to be dependent on family and loved ones, which unless you have really severe medical problems, if you're just blind or legally blind, you are completely capable of taking care of yourself. Um, and for those who are sighted and have never dealt with a disability or anything like that, you guys probably are like, eh, uh-huh, sure, whatever. But a lot of these kids, um, they don't know how to take care of themselves. And it's really, really sad because they're, they're so capable. And many of them do learn at these programs that they are capable of doing these things. And it, it was just a lot of fun. Um, I've always really enjoyed working with um, teens and young adults, which, funny enough, is who I worked with even um, at my internships. Uh, my internships, one was working with the LGBT youth um, community for the younger people. Because <laughs> uh, where I live, there's kind of a limited... Washington's very liberal, but... Um, um, if you don't live in the Seattle, greater Seattle area, there's a limitation to like youth groups that are directed specifically to um, young LGBTQ individuals. And I got the chance to work at one of them and it was a blast. Um, it ranged from people who were 14 to I think 21. Um, and there was a lot of things I learned that I thought I already knew about the communities and whatnot, but it is so sad how many of them uh, end up being homeless or assaulted or abused. You hear it a little bit more now in the news and whatnot, but it's just ridiculous. Like, in this day and age, people should have the right to love who they want, to have sex who they want, um, without judgment. I mean, as long as it's legal, <laughs> like obviously, um, age is, age, pff, I can't talk, age and consent, as long as that is all appropriate, that's all that should matter, you know, but... I mean, I'm very lucky to live in the state I do, uh, because it is very liberal, but even here, um, they struggle. And, sorry, I'm 
trying to see where I'm leaving off here. Yes, phone. I hear you. Um, I don't know. And then the other, the other place I ended up working with youth was a high risk um, place where mostly like again same age group but it was mostly like 16 to 18 uh, where we help get them jobs or um, find sh uh, homes for them if they're homeless uh, stuff like that I don't know a lot of people think these things should be duh like they should already have homes and all that stuff but you know it, I don't know it's the whole thing is <laughs> kind of depressing in some ways but again very interesting and exciting in others I'm lost So I think I'm in this one section that um, I'd gone through and lit up, but never finished going through. Excuse me. No, bad touch. But yeah, that's kind of my work experience. And hopefully with getting another <laughs> degree, um, I might have the chance to uh, actually get employment. I mean, I would love to have this as my job. That'd be great. But <laughs> that's also not realistic for most people. Woo! Come here, bat. Hmm. So, what am I doing right now? I'm not gonna do any farming. I think I'm gonna clean out this mine shaft of any goodies. I mean, if I need to get any um, ore, specific ores, I'll come through again. But in general, I think I'm gonna clear out any little dungeons with chests and stuff. And all that jazz. All that jazz. Haha. -ha. What do we have in this one? Hmm, more food. I do like it when I don't have to deal with getting food. <laughs> like even in real life. <laughs> ah. I'm kind of anal when it comes to water <laughs> um, in this game. Like, I've got to be able to block it all off. Like, if I can. <sighs> I don't know. I just want to block. And I also gotta remember <laughs> that I'm not set up for, uh, oh, poo poo. Um, breathing underwater like I am in some of my other games. Am I blocking you yet? Because I just wanna not deal with the water. That. Ah, really? 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 Okay, so this one at least is much easier to deal with. Ugh. So I can actually see what's going on, because you can sometimes miss some really good ore, or um, maybe 
hiding chests and stuff. And I don't want to miss it. Alright. So. Oh, what? Ah! Where'd you come from? Alright. Well, on that note, <laughs> it's been story time, so I'll leave it off here. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.